announcing Moodle 3.4, our latest major release, with a big focus on usability and making the world's open source learning platform more powerful and user-friendly, we're pleased to share a number of improvements in Moodle 3.4. Manage events and deadlines more efficiently with improvements to the Moodle calendar. One of the biggest enhancements in Moodle 3.4 can be seen in the calendar, where you can now, amongst other things, enjoy the ability to easily input event details in a pop-up window. There's also the ability to simply drag and drop events to different dates and months for faster editing. You can also choose the new category event type feature, so you can easily separate them from site or course events. In Moodle 3.4, easier editing functionality helps users to create and amend their calendars more efficiently. Thank you to the Moodle Users Association for making this calendar project possible. Enjoy better course management with a combined participants and enrollment screen. In Moodle 3.4, Educators can enrol and manage their learners from a single screen. Functions such as searching and filtering course participants, for example by role, status or group. The ability to edit or delete selected users and a clearer view of a participant's status are some of the new features you can now access as part of our aim to make sure our users are able to better manage the navigation and administration of their courses. Navigate activities faster by using the new links. You'll find new links below course items in Moodle 3.4. These links have been added to make navigation from one activity or resource to another easier and faster. You can see and use links on the left to move back to previous activities or resources and to the right for the next activity or resource, along with a Jump To menu offering you all the course items to choose from. Moodlers move through all your activities faster and intuitively through the addition of new links in Moodle 3.4. Easily specify assignment and workshop submissions formats with a file types list. In Moodle 3.4 our educators are now presented with a list of file type suggestions when they click on the Choose button. We've added this enhancement to our new major release so that educators can easily specify which format they would like their learners to upload their assignment or workshop submissions in. Always know how much space is available in your private files. Our Moodle users, educators and learners can now easily see how much space is left in their own private files in Moodle 3.4. When users upload or drag and drop files, a message indicating how much storage has been used will be displayed. This feature will assist Moodle users in managing their private files more easily. A new capability allows educators to mark activities as complete. In Moodle 3.4, we're introducing a new capability override activity completion status which will allow educators to mark learners activities as complete or incomplete. This capability gives educators marking flexibility for instance to check the quality of forum posts rather than just the total number of them. Our educators are also able to mark activities complete on behalf of learners for instance when the activity is offline such as giving a classroom presentation, attending a workshop or a seminar, or participating in a field trip. Meet your learners where they are with easier access to the Moodle mobile app. When our learners and participants access their Moodle 3.4 sites, they will now see an option to download and use the Moodle mobile app, when enabled, with a useful link to be found on the footer of the site. Users can also download the app through a visible link in their profiles. In Moodle 3.4, links to download the Moodle mobile app empower users to access their site anytime, any place through their mobile devices. Introducing Inspire Analytics, our open source solution to learning analytics. Since the beginning of 2017, We've been working with our global users 
to provide educators with predictions, diagnosis and advisements of learners' performance in their courses. In our previous major release, Moodle 3.3, we made Inspire Analytics as a plugin. We're pleased to announce that Inspire Analytics is now available in Moodle 3.4 Core. Descriptive and predictive data analysis to inform educators of their learners' performance in courses can assist in making decisions and providing the right level of support. The addition of Inspire Analytics in this major release is just the beginning. We look forward to continuing to refine Inspire Analytics through user research and feedback from the entire Moodle users and community. Many more improvements are available in Moodle 3.4, including new filters by category, course and course format for user tours, a clearer site registration form, HTTPS conversion tool is now available in Moodle Core, the ability to choose whether or not users must verify their email with OAuth 2 services, and much, much more, as outlined in our release notes. As with every major release, all of the improvements you'll find in Moodle 3.4 are made possible through the countless hours of collaborative work between our dedicated team of core developers at Moodle HQ and hundreds of key developers and other contributors who are members of our amazing global community. While there are too many to name, we nevertheless thank you for all your efforts, commitment and support on this release, which all contribute to advancing Moodle's mission of empowering educators to improve our world. We look forward to continually working with our users, our community members and our Moodle partners to make our learning platform more accessible and more powerful.